before Bridget talks, I just wanted to mention, I, I want to do one thing and then we will get to questions. Uh, I just want to thank you all for what you're going through um, in terms of taking care of our customers through what has started out to be a really difficult summer. Uh, this is, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about this in, in questions because I, I would go on too long if I got started. Uh, but know this, you know, we set out this year saying the most important thing we can do, not just for our customers, but for our team, is run a reliable operation. And we're not doing that. There's, there's weather, there's all, there's, there are the issues that always, that always affect the operation, but those aren't the issue. There's one, there's one core issue that's driving what's going on right now. Uh, and it's unfortunate, uh, but we are starting every day with about 65 airplanes out of service when we start the day. We have about 40 spare airplanes. Um, and those airplanes are not in the exact right place. So our goal uh, and what we usually in normal times have in terms of aircraft out of service when you start the day is about 35 airplanes. And if we have 35 airplanes out of service and 40 spares, we start the day, every flight takes off as planned. And then you just do everything you can to make sure it runs on time the rest of the day. When you have 65 airplanes out of service, as you might imagine, you're going to be canceling 20, 25 lines of flying to start the, as you start the day. Uh, that means all of you or many of you are out of position. That means customers need to be reaccommodated. Um, so we start the day slow uh, and the whole day starts off and we're trying to piece it together instead of running it the way it's supposed to be run. And that's what's happening. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we are doing everything we can to address it. It is the unfortunate result of the fact that we still can't get a contract done with our IAM and TWD workforce. And um, a small subset uh, of our mechanics are um, trying to influence those negotiations by uh, letting us know how important what their work is and what they can do to us if indeed uh, they're unhappy, um, which we fully appreciate. And no, um, it's, it's not how you're supposed to negotiate. Um, we've done things we don't like to do, like file lawsuits. Uh, we will do everything we can to stop the activity, um, I want to be really careful about this. The last thing I'm trying to do is, is make anybody upset with another team member. Um, this is, these are, these are hardworking people who are trying to do what's right by their families. They're being told by their union leaders that's the right thing for them to do. It's, again, I was in Charlotte yesterday, um, and what I know from being there and talking to the leadership, it's, it's a, it's a small subset, uh, but it doesn't take many to get you know an extra 20 airplanes out of service in the morning. So that's what's happening. Um, it is unfortunate. We will work through it. Uh, you all are bearing a large brunt of it. Uh, we're sorry about that, uh, we, and, uh, and 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 very appreciative of all that you're doing. Um, but no, that's the core issue. None of us thinks this is the way to run an airline. What you're experiencing right now is not what anybody believes is is okay, um, and we will get through it. So. We can talk more about that in questions. Um, I wanted, we wanted to start with something a little more positive, which Bridget will do. Um, this, this kind of stuff masks uh, a lot of really great things are going on in the airline, which hopefully you notice and our customers are noticing. We wanted to show you. Uh, we've invested since the time of the merger uh, more in this airline than has ever been invested in an airline in the history of commercial aviation, something like $25 billion. Now, some of that was integration. A lot of it's new airplanes, um, but a lot of it is things like um, you know, we now have satellite Wi-Fi on 100% of our narrow body fleet. That just happened. That's huge. Um, we now have, uh, you know, larger overhead bins, much better uh, admiral's cause, much better facilities throughout the system, and things like that that, uh, that, are, that are making a difference. Uh, again, they don't offset, you know, when you run an uh, unreliable operation, uh, but they make a difference. And uh, some of those results you can see in the JD Power results, which came out uh, just last week. So we were going to have Bridget... Uh, who is responsible for this and other things, talk to you about it. And so, unfortunately, Bridget is hobbled. So 